Okay, so let's go ahead and just show you the, the library. Over here to the right, down here, it should pop up your library. Again, if it doesn't, window libraries. So I have quite a bit here saved into here. Um, you can group them. I have all mine saved as this entire library here is SVGs. I have, uh, let's go here, um, planner stickers. You know why? You right click, make sure to do place copy. If you hit place linked, you're going to have issues. So you don't want to link it to the, if placing linked is linking it to this actual library, you don't want to do that. You just want to make a copy and put it there. So I'm holding on a shift and dragging it out. And then this is, you know, just the boxes to make them, right? I'm just going to delete that out. I'm going to actually make this bigger for so we can see better what we're doing here. Let me go ahead and hide it. Okay, I have a whole bunch of bows made. So again, right click, place copy. And then too, I already have it all vectorized. I'm gonna hold on to shift here while I do this. There we go. So I place a lot of stuff in my library, as you can see. This stuff I haven't really added anywhere yet. As you can see, it's saying where it came from, what it is. So I've got a lot in here. So usually I place things that I know that I'm gonna use again. Uh, right click, place copy. So just random things sometimes. Um, let's see here. The, here we go, mandala parts. So right click, place copy. So when I make the mandalas, these are pieces that I use a lot when I'm making them. I kind of just pop them in and I format the canvas to kind of mirror it and copy it. You can also share your library with other people. Let's see, or like paint splatters because I don't want to have to sit here and remake these designs all over again. You know, bam, I have my paint splatters. You know, it just, it makes it easier when it's something that I know that I'm going to use again. So, to add something. There's like random stuff, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, see, there, there's just a lot of stuff in here. Um, or even like ropes. Things that I know that I might use again that I just don't want to make again because I spent all that time making them probably make some of these bigger but the size you make it is the size that it's going to you know pop up on wherever you want to put it onto the next one right okay so like I don't know um, Mickey ears is something that I you know use a lot that I just don't want to have to make over and over each time and they're grouped and perfectly vectorized right um, okay, so if I wanted to add something that you don't have to vectorize it before you add it in there, and then your library can be shared across your Adobe subscriptions like Photoshop or whatever, but I like to have them all vectorized and ready to go. So if you wanted to add it to your library, click on it. Um, no, what is it? Left click with, you know, just your regular selection tool. Right click, add to library. So it's going to go appear right here in the not grouped. If you wanted to, let's say, add a new folder, um, create new group or, you know, make a new group. Just click on that one and it pops up up here. Well, let's type in, you know, rando and don't hit enter, that'll pop up. I just hit enter out of habit, right? So I named it Rando. You just, you know, grab whatever item it is. You're going to, you know, right click. 
add to group and we put it in rando and it's going to pull it out of here and add it to that rando and usually anytime you add a new group or you know folder um, it's going to go to the very top of that list so you can hit add items to group copy to you can rename it delete group delete I'm going to delete group and contents because I already have that one and I don't need, I already have a, you know, bunch. I don't really need that one. Um, so let's say we have, um, let's get out of here. Like if I wanted to, let's say we have this guy, which you can't really see it's still loading. I'm going to right click click move to and I can move it to instead of my library I can move it out of these ones so you can always look at these other ones so let's see here um, so if you click right here that brings up your creative cloud it also makes it so you can see all of those images in your library a lot easier you can see the mandalas are just you know these are just the the graphics that i've made and i've shoved in there right yeah there's a bunch um but over here you've got your work and this is my library right here and as you can see like the right here these are libraries that i have access to It's, you know, if you want to save um, color palettes or these are just from Adobe. Sometimes they'll give you, you know, just they'll, they'll make them SVGs or they'll make them um, Photoshop ones. Like I know this one is not an SVG, but you can make them into SVGs or this taco here. Like, like the, this one's pretty. Sometimes they are SVGs, though. They should say it. Or you have these patterns that you can use. Um, the Illustrator library is something that a lot of people don't really use because they don't know about it. But it's really just nice to be able to just save something that you know you're going to reuse a lot. And I don't really go in here very often, and, but it is something neat to just kind of explore around. It's got, it's got a lot of different things. Or, you know, if you wanted to share your library with someone else, or if somebody wanted to share it with you, but this one, or you can, you know, hit discover and you can look around for you know by the different apps yeah what do you want to do draw and illustrate you know and there's just so much for it's for you know you want to go back to yours you know it, it's something that you can just kind of check out you know there's the colors if you were coloring something and you were having a hard time picking like you know a matching color palette I know a lot of people have you know problems with that I do I've got an app on my iPad that generates some and I save them to put them into appropriate but um there's you know there's there's just so much I guess so that and then and no it's it's something worth looking up so if I wanted to take one of these and uh right click export a copy or copy to if I wanted to copy it to my library and let's see oh. random stuff I do not know what to organize as well we'll put it there and then we'll do so I don't really know if these ones are you know SVGs or not so I want to keep this open I'm just going to minimize it Let's find the random one here. There we go. Mine, it's not organized by alphabetized there. There we go. So it should be at the bottom there. There we go. So sometimes it'll pop up as AI or it'll pop up as SVG. So I'm going to hit place copy and we'll see if it is an SVG or not. And this one is. 
So, bring that pig out. Well, there you go. So, you have a, hmm, a lip SVG. So, it's, it's pretty neat. Some of them, like, right here, this one does say SVG. And there you go. Like, if I want the, you know, out the little icon for the game... It's, let's see, these three that I'm shoving in here, I did find in that area. I was playing around with them, and then there's, you know, the phone, little app icons one. But that's, that's pretty much about it. If you have any questions about that one, if I didn't explain something good enough, just let me know. And I can, you know, go over it a bit better or not. So... Ugh, my allergies are kicking it, sorry. <laughs>